the panels downstairs, um, they actually list the books that were in John Adams' library. And what we have up here is we have the Colonial Imprints Spirit of America collection, the Marvin Civil Winer collection. And essentially it's 10,000, currently, we haven't finished cataloging, but there are 10,000 items in the collection. And everything that you see here was in the winer collection. These are the materials would, that would have been in his library. Like, you know, for instance, some of the law books that we have over here, some of the religion books that are three cases down, some of the history books and literature books. These are all materials that John Adams himself would have been familiar with. They're part of their original, their first editions. We actually have a first edition Thomas Paine pamphlet that's bound over there that a researcher used um, in his research. Uh, he's studying, I think, anti-federalism. So he actually had us pull some of the material for him to do for his own research. Those are four pieces that are considered the rare and the wonderful of Weiner. We modeled that after the johnadamslibrary.org site because he had the rare and wonderful of John Adams. So we figured rare and wonderful of Weiner. The four pieces, there's actually one that's called miscellaneous. We don't have an author. We don't actually have a date. Um, I don't know much about that piece. There's one piece that deals with the Stamp Act, which is quite important. And there's also a very rare pamphlet called American Crisis, not to be confused with American Crisis by Thomas Paine, but it's a rare pamphlet that's published, actually published out of England. This is the foundation of a lot of American government. These are the materials that a lot of historians and history majors use in their research. You're talking primary documents, so we have something pre-colonial. We have the Federalist Papers. We have so many primary resource materials that would be great to put in the hands of students for you to research and read and to really connect with. I mean, to read something online is great. I love digital material. I myself have enough color. But there's something more specific about actually having this in front of you. And it's a great kind of connection.